As we move into the 1980s, things were changing at Maranello, Ferrari's headquarters. Gone were the days of the front-engine sports car, and that era ended with the mighty, the legendary Daytona. Enzo Ferrari's race engineers were trying to convince their boss that he needed to take the power plant from the front of the car and put it in the rear of the car. Because doing that would follow race concept engineering. It would give a better handling car with more responsive steering and take away some of the understeer. Not only that, they also wanted to do away with a V angle on the engine and produce a flat 12, a boxer engine, because that put everything lower to the ground, improved the weight distribution, and once again, produced a more nimble handling car. Enzo Ferrari and Pininfarina worked together and produced the mighty, the legendary 512 BBI, the Berlinetta Boxer. Well, early iterations of the car actually used carburetors, but then fuel injection was introduced onto the later cars, and it just gave more responsive throttle performance from the engine. And underneath this truly spectacular louvered engine cover sits the flat 12 engine itself the Boxer. It sits very low in the car because by its design, the two sets of cylinders are absolutely 180 degrees opposed from one another. In many ways, it's two engines joined together by a common crankshaft. Six cylinders oppose six cylinders. We have two Bosch fuel injection units, one for each bank. We have two distributors, one for each bank. It produces incredible horsepower, but the best advantage, I believe, of the Boxer engine, although it is unavoidably wide, it is weight distribution. When you keep the weight behind the cockpit and you drop the weight as close to the road or track as possible, the end result is a more nimble, better handling car. But in terms of the detail and the smell of the Connolly leather inside the interior, this car, to me, it's, I've never seen anything like it. It has to be the best boxer I've ever seen. It's in better condition than when it left the stables of Maranello. <laughs>